Happy Monday, Virgo. What is going on? Tap in. Drop your city state flag. Drop the sign of the person that you are dealing with. Do not forget to like, comment, subscribe, share this video. We want to get into these messages for the week. Virgo, go ahead and take these messages. Take what resonates, leave what does not. Do not force it. This energy can be vice versa. So switch the energies as needed for your story. You can reach out to me for a personal reading on Instagram. All the information is down in the description box. If this video does not resonate, I have hundreds of other videos on my channel. Check them out. Find your playlist. And there goes, let's get into it. Ooh, the Two of Swords. The Two of Cups. Okay. The World. Your energy with the Nine of Pentacles. Drawing a line in the sand here. Focusing on yourself and the fool. Starting a brand new journey. We have the world and the fool. So we know something's coming to an end. And we know something's starting over. Air energy with the five of swords in reverse, which is trying to avoid a conflict here. Makes me think of water boy. I wasn't raising my ver I wasn't raising my voice. I'm a Virgo. I don't like confrontation. <laughs> Virgo. My favorite movie. And this page of wands in reverse, cowardly energy. Somebody who's impulsive, does things, but when they get caught up, they like to hide their hands, covering their face. Maybe somebody's embarrassed about something here in the background. And that's what they're, ooh, trying to avoid telling the truth. Trying to avoid coming clean about something. Maybe the truth about their feelings. Is that what this is, Virgo? Somebody's not talking to you about their feelings and they're being real immature about it. Or maybe this is you not ready to speak about your feelings here. Oh, we're going to keep this judgment underneath this two of swords, which is not knowing which way to go. Getting mixed signals and needing to make a choice, being at a crossroads here. This is a lack of information and communication. But with this lack of information, here comes the judgment, which is the truth. Skeletons coming out of the closet, things being revealed to you. Um... This could also be somebody asking for forgiveness or wanting you to just forgive them without having to say that they're sorry. Ooh. Virgo energy. We have the two of wands. Another crossroads. Two, two, two. I can't remember what that means, what that angel number means. But this, you're at a major crossroads. And it's not just about this communication. Somebody's actions don't match their words. Back to this cowardly energy not wanting to explain themselves, Virgo. Libra energy with the king of swords in reverse, and they don't want to talk about it. This is somebody that, Virgo, when you confront them, back to the water boy, they don't like to be confronted. They're not going to deal with that. And with this king of swords and this shango here, this judgment, they might even try to turn the situation around on you. And with this ten of pentacles, which is closing out a cycle of abundance and the wheel of fortune, two tens here. We have two tens and the two tens within this judgment. This is an ending. This is you doing what's best for you, taking your emotions elsewhere. This world card starting a new journey, being single for a little bit to allow your new person to come in. And this, Virgo, this almost makes me feel like you're getting ready to go into a hermit mode. To focus on yourself so that you can be this. You may be focusing on work right now. This could be a work issue or this could be a family love issue. We're getting into the holidays, so things are getting a little crazy. But whatever this is, is over. You don't have time for it anymore. And this choice is upside down. This is either you taking the choice away from this person by taking action or the universe stepping in that this per the time is up and their luck has run out in this situation. Capricorn energy showing up here with the queen of pentacles. This is you putting everything out on the table here as above air, king of swords and the queen of pentacles. So below... And this person doesn't have anything to say. They're being very ice cold with their communication. This is somebody totally not speaking about their feelings to keep you in a, some type of limbo so that you, you keep investing in them. But you're moving on here. Time's up. And this is a time for you to reinvest in yourself. Dressed in all gold. This is the come up, the glow up. And this world, this traveling, these brand new opportunities, you're taking advantage of them. You're going to have to walk away from this. This world card being a card of travel. Moving on, closing out cycles, the 20, the 21, and the zero. Definitely closing this thing out. And everything that you needed to see, you are seeing or you're about to see. This is you starting over. 
taking some time out for yourself to reinvest back into yourself. And again, taking that break as above, so below, bringing this balance back with this break, a rest with this four of swords. This is you pulling away, not speaking about something until you make a final determination. So this could be you taking a break from your person. This could be you taking a break from work or family to just focus on yourself. And we see that here, Virgo, with this nine of pentacles in the reverse, where you're going to come back separating yourself and focusing on you. And that's this tower moment, Scorpio Aries. We're in Scorpio season, a death and a rebirth. One door closing so that new doors can open for you. Again, all this is tied together. This is a season for you to get regrounded regrounded in this water sign card this grass green abundance these pentacles money coming in getting things balanced back out and this roots this tree at the bottom firmly planting those roots going somewhere where you can grow for those of you that this is work this is a new work opportunity or a new business opportunity but those of you in love this is an opportunity for you to get yourself right so that you can allow your divine partner to come in and receive you and with this Ace of Wands card of action and fertility, getting back out there, dating, dipping in and doing it, is, is right here. This is you separating yourself from this so that you can level up and focus on this soon when you're ready. When you're ready with this Ten of Swords. Because you've been betrayed in the past here. And that's got you feeling a certain way. Maybe not wanting to be vulnerable and speak about your feelings also. But this immature party here, throwing rocks and hiding their hands, being sneaky. Mm -mm, you're not dealing with that anymore. You could have been dealing with a Gemini here, with the lovers. But this is, again, you have to walk away from this and this person, people, place, and things that are constantly betraying you, Virgo, so that you can meet your divine person. The six, the lovers, Gemini, takes place in the Garden of Eden. Adam and Eve and having everything that you need in that one spot, as long as you don't do this, as long as you don't cross this line. Somebody crossed that line here. That's that Nine of Pentacles. And that's why you have to move on here. Exiting stage left, ready, set, go. And even if you're not ready, you're going here. And with this three of pentacles, that's you packing up what little pentacles and things you have and moving on. And not only that, that's after you move on, ready or not, things coming together. This three of pentacles is cooperation. Boom, 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 boom. With the knight of cups. That love offer coming in, that job opportunity coming in. Here comes these blessings rushing in when you walk away. And then the ghosting card, six, seven. The seven of swords is walking away, shady behavior, being sneaky, ghosting somebody, exiting the scene of the crime so you don't have to get called out here. Back to this cowardly energy, avoiding that verbal falling out, yes. When this person leaves in this cowardly way, Virgo, I feel like that's when you cut this person off. That's that Ten of Swords moment. You start focusing on yourself, working on you. And then here comes this, here comes your person. Boom, the sun, the grass being greener here on the other side. Triumph, fertility, a brand new happy beginning here. Yes, you have to leave this clown behind. This Eight of Swords, six, seven, eight, all of air. This is you releasing yourself from a situation where you felt you didn't have a voice. You weren't heard. Somebody was... um. Sending you mixed messages here. You were stuck between a rock and a hard place, bound to this. Maybe we were stuck on a sinking ship. This is you, an eight, balance. Bringing balance back to the situation and getting happiness. Dealing with the coward, a stubborn coward at that. Taurus energy here and uh, Sagittarius with the king of wands. Super cowardly, super cowardly, stubborn. Hides their hands when they... they hand in the cookie jar, and now it's time for you to move on. The chariot, cancer energy. This is fast forward movement, moving forward with purpose and balance. This also speaking to the duality of this person and the dark hidden things coming out. This is you burning a bridge so you can never go back there. Like that waiting to exhale moment when she walks away from the car and she's smoking that cigarette, that's you. This is done, this is over with. Bye, Walter. And that's where we're gonna leave it, Virgo, because with this, divine masculine here, Aries energy showing up. This is somebody who is trying to be very controlling here and keeping you trapped with the lies. Back to that eight of swords. And now you're releasing yourself from this. The magician playing mind games, being manipulative here. But this is you having being in control and having all the tools necessary to navigate through the situation and be successful. This is you releasing yourself from this. Again, moving on. Death card here. Death 
transformation and a rebirth, this door is closing so that new doors can open for you. Abundance rolling in with this eight of pentacles, self-mastery, working on yourself, okay? And then this Taurus Libra energy here with the divine feminine, bringing balance back to your situation and Again, speaking to your divine partner, rolling through as soon as you walk away from this. This is wife, mother. This husband, father, divine masculine, divine feminine, creativity, abundance, pregnancy. We have all these fertility cards here. This is somebody's ego getting the best of them currently. Mm -hmm. With the six of wands, Leo energy. Ego, wanting to win at all costs, wanting to keep people trapped up. Again, another six, a choice, an imbalance. And then the lies, trying to clean up their messes, trying to explain away the, trying to explain the unexplainable. Jesus. And that's with these commitments upside down. Baby, how many people are they investing in? Two, four, eight, six? How many? But these are upside down investments. Investing in two, giving their money. They were tricking off. Virgo, it's time for you to go. Because your person, yes, going, leaving, looking at your long-term goals. This is the burdens getting too tough here. The straw that broke the camel's back. Did they miss a birthday? Did they miss a big event? Did they stand you up, leaving you at dinner to go entertain somebody else? This is you looking at those long-term goals and realizing, looking at your investments in the situation and realizing somebody's not equally giving here. Can you see that? Yeah. Three pentacles here. And then there's four here. It's not equal give and take. Not at all, Virgo. And that's where we're going to leave it. Let me know how this resonated for you down in the comment section. Please don't forget to like, comment, subscribe, share this video. I upload almost daily on this channel. Find me on Instagram. All that information is down in the description box. And Earth Sign Family, I'll be checking in with you soon. Keep it real.